There was a storm coming in, clouds building to the west and the wind picking up and blowing across the prairie between Dorothy and Finnegan. It rattled the leaves of a scraggly stand of aspens and shook the ferruginous hawk nest in the branches. But at least where I was, it was still sunny, with antelope looking out over the prairie and horses grazing on lush June pastures. Blue-eyed grass bloomed in the ditches. That storm was rolling in mighty quickly. I picked up and drove on ahead of it. East now, beyond the rain, the sun was back. But these curlews sure seemed annoyed with me. Babies close by? I don't know. Never saw any. An hour later and the storms had passed. The curlews had calmed down. The air was still and damp and perfumed by these tiny wolf willow blossoms. Just heavenly. So small and yet so strong. But the calm was fleeting as another storm moved in. As night came on and the prairie sang its evening song, yet another round of storm clouds filled the sky. Rain wasn't far off and thunder boomed down the Red Deer River Valley. And the last full moon of June said goodbye.